What's up guys, Game Nut here, and welcome back to some more Madden 19 Ultimate Team. Now, I know it's uh, it's been a minute since you guys have seen a video, so I'm going to give you all, you know, your quick reminder of what our team currently looks like. Now, the, the reason it's been so long since I have uploaded a video is I, I was sick. I tried to upload a video, I tried to record one even, and uh, I, I just couldn't do it. But you know what, everything's good now, we're back in business, and uh, we are kicking things off. By uh, Of course, we're going to be making some changes with our team, and you guys can probably already see down there in the lineup, we've got our mystery player sitting there at the wide receiver position so obviously uh, I just kind of spoiled the position for our mystery player but you know nonetheless it doesn't really matter because you guys are still killer at being able to guess who I disguise as our mystery player every single time I actually thought I did a little bit of a better job this time but obviously I didn't well once we went, go ahead and do reveal it as you guys did just see it is going to be the 93 overall blitz Tyreek Hill shout out to those of you guys who were able to guess this correctly now as most of you guys do already know though we already have this power up Tyreek Hill on our team we just got him uh uh, only a few episodes ago and we had him sitting as a 90 overall so I went in went ahead spent a thousand training then went ahead and put that blitz card into the power up card and Tyreek Hill now sits as a 94 overall wide receiver and you guys can see it 96 speed at wide receiver that is absolutely deadly man but in case you guys were wondering how we did get Tyreek Hill I went ahead and completed his blitz set I did have enough of those tokens at the time of this promo going on and I actually you know let's let's go ahead and, and get another one of those 90 three overall blitz players i had a lot of tokens during this time i was grinding i was making sure i was trying to get as many of those players i could when this promo was out and you guys can see it i also went ahead and completed the set for 93 overall miles garrett and the animations okay ea is still doing a good job with those it looks pretty fire and you guys can see it 93 overall miles garrett at right end he's got 83 speed 94 strength 85 tackle 91 block shedding and 91 power move now as most of you guys know we already have miles garrett on our team so this is going to be kind of a little of a like an upgrade and you know what let's let's go ahead and do one more upgrade with our defense we've already got jalen ramsey on our team as most of you guys know so i went ahead bought the power up card for him which is a 68 overall went ahead and put that core elite into the power up jalen ramsey and now with chemistries active you guys can see it 91 Jalen Ramsey sitting with 94 man coverage and 93 zone those are some some pretty good coverage stats for being just a 91 overall corner uh, I'm not gonna lie that card looks pretty good but you guys can see it we come over to our defense and we go ahead and make those couple of changes we went ahead got Jalen Ramsey put him back into the number one corner spot on our team and down at the right end position, of course, like I said, we've got Miles Garrett. We originally had his Mutt Hero card, as you guys know, and now we have upgraded him to that 93 overall. So that's going to be all the upgrades we're making with the defense for today's episode, but we're not done, of course. we got to make some changes with our offense. And the first one you guys can see is uh, Tyreek Hill. I did decide to take him out of the slot and put him as our wide receiver number two. I feel like we might get a little bit more of use out of him instead of being in the slot, just, just in the slot, but using him as like our number two priority guy. But uh, as we go ahead, you guys might not be able to, to you know, recognize some of the changes that we're going to be making with our team once I went ahead and uh, you, you guys can see the holes on our team we are going to get a backup tight end behind Delaney Walker which is our starter but also our running back yes David Johnson the guy that we just got not that long ago is being bumped down we are going to be using Alvin Kamara as our starter but not that version of Alvin Kamara we have the 88 power up I went ahead and completed his mutt hero for the 90 overall but he's not going to be the starter on our team either no we're going one step further and as you guys know from completing your solo challenges which whoa that animation okay that, that might be my favorite animation so far this year. We went ahead and completed my solo challenges to go ahead and get an NAT All-Star from the Thanksgiving promo, The Harvest. We've got a choice of one of eight players here, and obviously the guy that I'm going to be bringing into our team is the 93 overall Harvest, Alvin Kamara. So, we got all the pieces required, man. We already had the 88 power-up starting as our running back. I completed the Mutt Hero set, which was the previous version I didn't have on my team already. We got the Harvest card, and putting all these together, Alvin Kamara sitting in that power-up now is a 94 overall and look at these stats man 91 speed 95 agility 95 elusiveness 92 break tackle and and only 79 catching that's definitely a little low for Kamara I don't know why his catching stat is that low but there you guys have it you guys can see our new running back sitting back there with Alvin Kamara the card art looks absolutely sick and we do have one final change to make and it is going to be yet again one last power up you guys can see it 68 Jimmy Graham another card that's been on our team I, I, I definitely with all these upgrades have been players that are already on our team i've just been mainly been getting like their newer and better versions because I i'm just trying to get through this season man and start building our new team but jimmy graham i went out got his power up i had the mutt monster which was a 90 overall 
obviously i know that card it is kind of old but i put it into the power up he sits at a 91 overall now and you guys can see the stats he had like 95 spectacular catch which is just absolutely ridiculous but there you guys have it that's all of the upgrades for today's episode one last look at the defense and offense for you guys so you can go ahead and look at it but as we go to our head-to-head -head season yes you, you guys can see it we were undefeated i did get a loss we're sitting at five and one now it, I, I, I lost okay you know what i'm not going to show you guys because it doesn't really matter i got put up against the god squad he destroyed me and, and i quit out of the game early it's whatever but it's okay we're still five and one we only need two more wins to make it to the playoffs brandon gone alongside charles davis and before kickoff charles quickly your keys to the game well Barton, i can give you the standard ones turnover special teams play man you guys just saw it my opponent's top three He's got three 97 overall players. I mean, like, I, my main goal right now is just to hurry up and finish this main season with this team I've got. Because, gotcha, as bitch. most of you guys know, usually I like building my team, an ultimate team. Like, I build a completely new team, like players in every position. And I try and take that team to the playoffs and hopefully make a run at the Super Bowl. And with this team, we've, we've had these, like, players and we've been upgrading them since the start of the year. And I haven't made a run to the Super Bowl. So, that's exactly what, you know, our, our goal is right now. I'm trying to take these guys to the playoffs, hopefully get a Super Bowl appearance, even a win maybe and then just start building a new team because I, I, I'm definitely, you know, lacking a little bit. Obviously, I know these players we're bringing to our team are like slight upgrades and whatnot. You know, they're upgrades from my team. But in terms of, you know, when I'm playing against these opponents, they've got like ridiculous teams at this point. So like I need to hurry things up and start pumping out these episodes and getting some new and better players to my team. So as you guys did just see, however, to start off this game, we did get an interceptional defense by Jalen Ramsey, that guy already making a play sitting at that new 91 overall. And then I did have a couple of nice plays on offense, but ultimately I got brought up to a stop and uh, we only had to, uh, we only put up three points with the field goal but as my opponent comes back out here with Mike Vick in the Chargers uniform he throws up the playmaker to Steve Smith for a 55 yard bomb now on third and goal oh my god look at me I, I got stuck on the D line when I was trying to make adjustments I don't know what to do and he throws it up that should have been an interception man and it goes ahead it is a pass deflection of course and my opponent is going to tie this game up at three to three now at this point, uh, things went, went a little rocky, not going to lie. Uh, we started things out on offense by uh, throwing an interception to, to Darius Slay there. That was kind of a weird animation, though. If you guys go look back at that in, in regular, like, I didn't slow it down because it didn't look as good in slow motion, but, like, Darius Slay kind of lunged forward there. It was kind of a weird animation. Anyways, on third and 13, gotcha, Jalen Ramsey, however, once again, this guy is coming up with another interception on our defense. That is two so far for this man in this game. He is having quite himself a game right now. I mean, all we had to do was upgrade Jalen Ramsey to the power-up, and this guy's just going to start being like a lockdown corner for us. It's it's crazy. Anyways, so we come back out on offense now. There's three minutes until halftime. We've got to get Kamara going. We get him for a very nice 12-yard gain there. Next play, first and 10, going to our tight end, Delaney Walker. There's that Lawrence Taylor, 97 overall, who comes up with the tackle. A minute and a half until halftime. It is a third and 10. My opponent with the five-man rush. And at this point, I, I got a little lucky, okay? I'm not going to lie. I was trying to feed Odell a little bit because last time we got him for the episode, Episode, and I really didn't give him a whole lot of catches so I was like I got to try and feed Odell a little bit more in today's episode and that's exactly what we started doing on this drive I forced one there in that last play you guys saw it but he came up with a big time catch there on the sideline he comes up with another catch but again we weren't able to convert we didn't get a touchdown and five seconds left till halftime we had to take ourselves another field goal finding ourselves up now six to three a very low scoring game so Fast forwarding a little bit into this game, you guys can see there's only a minute and 20 left now in the third quarter. Vic scrambling in the pocket all day. He's able to find his receiver. I believe that's T.Y. Hilton, and he is just short of a first down that's going to bring up a fourth and one. So my opponent is bringing out the field goal unit. And this man tried going with the fake field goal on me. Luckily, I made the play there with my user. We got the tackle. And just like that, it's a turnover on downs. I don't understand why my opponent there tried going for the fake field goal when he could have just, just tied this game up. Like, well, what kind of play calling is that? Anyways, we got backed up all the way to our one-yard line. It was a third and 16 desperation mode. My opponent sent the all-out blitz, hoping for that safety. But we were able to get our tight end, Delaney Walker, for a big catch. But here in the fourth quarter, now second and one, finally getting Tyree Kill involved, getting his first, first catch of the game. Goes for 11 yards. You guys can just see by that one catch how fast he is with that breakaway speed. Anyways, on third and 14 here, Odell, this guy is just making all sorts of catches for our team today. That is a big-time first down because that now puts us, you know, a new set of downs. My opponent has to start burning his timeouts, but... 
it, it, it didn't really matter because we, we got down to the one yard line and then you know just the icing on top went ahead got the touchdown the QB sneak with Russell Wilson and after that play you guys can see it the connection to your peer has been lost so a very low scoring game nothing really you know too exciting but I still had to show you guys because a win is a win on our season then that puts us with six wins on the season still that one loss but we only have one game left to win until we go ahead and make it to the playoffs And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking... I mean, once again, my opponent's top three is just insanely good. And you guys can see, I, I think we might be playing against an all-Chiefs team right here. And this is actually a preview of Sunday Night Football. We, we've got the Seahawks and the, the visiting Chiefs playing right now. But my opponent's team, he, he's got a lot of Chiefs players. Not going to lie. I don't know if it's an all-Chiefs team, but there's a lot of them. We've got Travis Kelsey out there, Patrick Mahomes. I'm surprised there's not Kamara there in the backfield but there is a Tyreek Hill now starting off this game uh immediately I could tell the way that my opponent was playing he comes out in that dual halfback set he then comes out with PA crossers yes PA crossers against me with Tyreek Hill and is able to convert so on third and one a play later Patrick Mahomes the play is made by Kevin Green kind of a weird animation there and I'm not gonna lie Kevin Green comes up he, he jumps up he gets the pass deflection and then kind of hits Mahomes it, that, that was a weird situation there but nonetheless my defense we made a big time play there we made a big stop and we only let up three points there on the first drive so as we come out on offense now second and six going to Tyreek Hill right out of the gate and you guys can see the speed man the spin move and this guy his first catch is taking it for 22 yards Tyreek Hill man this guy like you have to have him on your team he is a lethal weapon but for First and 10, I noticed my opponent started running a lot of blitzes. He was running a lot of man coverage, so I was starting to run some plays that would exploit that, which is here our drag route to our tight end Delaney Walker. Next play, you guys can see on first and 10, Russell Wilson in the pocket. We're going right back to Odell. He was going good for us in the first game, so we're going to go to him in this game. Hits him with the juke move. And so close. Uh, that one cut animation messes me up so many times. Like, I feel like I could have gotten a touchdown there, but that one cut, man, like, I always get messed up by it. it it's ridiculous. But doesn't matter. Second and goal, the following play. We go right back to him. Odell Beckham getting the touchdown. That is going to put us up on the lead at 7 to nothing. Hitting him, hitting him with his signature whip, you know, nothing else. Anyways, as we come back out now on second and 10, guys, at this point, I was like, all right, I, I know exactly gotcha, what I'm dealing with. My opponent is running fake wide receiver screen. Yes, you guys can see it down there. He's running mid blitz. He's running a PA crosser. Fake wide receiver screen. Like, like, what are we doing right now? But Casey Hayward, uh, we, we have to take a step back to that. Like, Casey Hayward had a disgusting interception on that play. So my defense is playing really, really good right now. We have a good catch by Odell once again. Third and 13. Who else is it besides Odell Beckham Jr.? Who gets tackled by his, like his heel, man, the back of his foot. He's got to tie his shoes or something. That should have been a touchdown with that speed. But on second and nine, we finally have to get this guy going. There's a reason why you haven't been seeing too much of this Kamara card. You know, we just got this 94 power-up Kamara on our team. And I haven't really been showing anything. That's because the run game ha has been pretty weak. I haven't really been able to get any good runs out of Kamara in these two games that I was able to play. But there, with that spin move, he was able to go ahead and get the touchdown. And now Cam Chancellor on our defense gets the boomstick on Tyreek Hill. And look who it is, Jalen Ramsey making another play in today's episode. Gets the fumble recovery and he outruns everybody on that Chiefs offense. And my defense is now getting involved. They are getting a touchdown for Ramsey. What a game we're having right now. Up 21-3. to gotcha, bitch. And to top things off, Cam Chancellor is going to go ahead and pad those stats a little bit more. He gets a forced fumble, and now he's going to get the very easy interception. I mean, my opponent just kept running the same play over and over again. So it eventually got pretty easy to stop that halfback wheel. And you guys can see the game was paused. Your peer has conceded the game. So there you guys have it, man. My defense pretty much playing lights out in today's episode. We only let up three points in back-to-back -back games. My offense is playing pretty good as well. And you guys can see there on the right side, our season progress, we got the seven wins and next playoff game right there says the wild card so there you guys have it man that is going to do it for today's episode i hope all of you guys enjoy man i'm sorry for the long absence i know i keep going through like these phases where i just don't upload for a while and I i'm tired of it okay we're gonna start pumping these episodes out and uh, i hope you guys are ready for it man so next episode we will be in the playoffs but of course we are going to be making some more changes but uh anyways once again i hope all of you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to put a thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and I will catch you all in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.